doesn't want you to go away with that. Just had shape. Big, big shot. Well, he's throwing it. Oh, that uppercut. So, Paulie, you're not coming on to my closet, you know. He is. Look at that. I'm going to give credit to the Lord who played heavy on. Oh, and then he's coming to the ring with his entourage of quarterback. But they will calm, cool, and collect it. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches when it opens. Scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both were able to score. You know, a lot of folks say that he's an unorthodox fighter. We know he's extremely athletic. But at some point, that ability to time things, that ability to be flashy and showy and utilize speed, it can have so many fundamental flaws, can't it? Well, no, it does have fundamental flaws. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, you're depending on the awkwardness of it, the unorthodox approach of it. You know, you're depending on pure skills. You know, whether it's just... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He got rocked. He just got rocked. And he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit. Stop this flow. Able to land with the right. Effective work. The three-punch combination. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Gets him with the right hand. And he scores with a three-punch combo. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in the film library. Watchman Hammer and Hank. The great Henry arm. Oh, and there you go. And he, he goes down. And he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be. And he paid a price. The question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So these things, things kick in. you got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. That was a great round we just saw, Teddy. And that, this is why I'm glad I do my job, not yours. You have to try to score that round. Yeah, I have to score it, but they have to figure out why they both got shaken up and make sure it doesn't happen again. Close round, but the good news, more to come for audience. See, not just one jab, he throws that second one right behind it. Good, solid right hand he lands there. Here he comes, nice and aggressive, red hot going after it. Much the way he finished up the action the last time we saw him in the last round. Hey, look, if you're a fisherman and the fisher was good in a certain spot, <laughs> you can't wait to get the boat out to that same spot. He's rowing right out there. There's a taste of the sweet science to see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Solid left. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say, with the palm in there, with your control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Well, he's throwing it. Oh, that uppercut got him back. And bang, and away he goes. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. 
now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out that... I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also... Big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Good looking two punch combination there. He scores well to the head with the right hand. Keep your hands up. Off the mark. There's a right hand. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Big, big shot he just scored with. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That's well done. Little ring generalship there, getting him stuck in the corner. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, as he's telling his opponent, you're not coming on to my property, you know. I have he is, look at that! Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again! He got floored! He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's gonna step in now and stop this.